Hey everybody, I just want to make a video to show you my awesome photo booth. I just finished building it. It's a fully touch screen, one with a DSLR camera and a flash right up there. And I'm going to show you all the things that you're going to need and how to do it. In order to build this photo booth, you're going to need a few things. First off, you're going to need the box. This is the box right here. I'll show you all the adjustments and everything that I made to it. But it is the IKEA Gunnern medicine cabinet. It's approximately 12 by 24. Um, I took off the front and the back plate and then I had ordered this aluminum plate from uh, East Machine Smith or something like that. I'll, I'll post a link down below for you to follow it out. But you can actually uh, create and design your own uh, whole system and everything for you. Next thing you're going to need is a tablet. Uh, this one is a Windows 10 tablet. It is made by Vulkan, which is some random no-name brand, but it runs Windows 10, which has the software that I need, and uh, it only costs 85 bucks. Next thing that you need is your camera. This is my older D7100. It's a crop frame body, and it has a 28 to 70 on here, which, to be honest, I'm going to switch out with a wider angled lens a little bit later, but it works just for right now. Next up is the flash. Uh, this one is just a cheap... 4 AA battery Nissan uh, digital flash. It just fully manual and it works perfectly for what I needed to do. On the bottom right here and on the top of the camera as well are a couple really cheap Young Nuo flash triggers. It makes it wireless so I don't have to worry about having a lot of cords going on. And then last but not least, I have the Canon Selfie CP910. There's the CP1200 out right now, and that's only for 95 bucks, which was about the same price that I paid for this one. This was new a long time ago. But it's great. It does dye sublimation, um, and you get photos that come out as 4x6s. Uh, also, another good thing to have is the stand. I just bought a simple speaker stand on Amazon. It's about 23 bucks, um, and you're able to just mount that right onto the bottom of the photo booth. So as you can see, I have the stand connected to what's called a top hat on the bottom of the photo booth. Uh, it costs $7 on Amazon, and really it's just four screws that you got to drill into the bottom, and it just connects, and then you have your adapter stand right there. For the photo booth, like I said, I had designed this on uh, online, and then I had sent it out to be made and sent to me. You can actually have it designed and made by any local CNC laser um, maker and you can use either aluminum or polycarbonate. I should have used polycarbonate but this is white aluminum and it just works really well for it. And this is the back of it. You can see that I actually used kind of, uh, I think it's E6000 to be able to hold the uh, front panel onto the medicine cabinet and it's completely cured and dried and it is holding very steadfast and then I also had to use the same epoxy to make sure that the stand stays there too. Putting it all together you can see that I have velcro on each corner of the tablet and then I have the adjacent pieces inside and this just makes it easy for me to be able to take it out and in uh, whenever I feel to be able to uh, use the tablet. This is a touchscreen tablet. The software that's on it is called DSLR Booth. It's the professional version, which lets you customize and make different templates, um, and it's pretty awesome. So I definitely recommend looking into it. It's about 160 bucks, though. This is what it looks like when it's in. You can come around. Pretty easy. For the camera, all I did was buy just a really cheap um, swivel mount camera holder uh, and on the bottom it has a one quarter screw I think the thread is number 20 uh, and it just screws right into the bottom and then you have it mounted just like that now I have the camera mounted inside uh, what's great about this is because it's a ball head it, I can raise and angle it or lower it however I need to as far as uh, if there's a lot of shorter guests or clients that want to take photos you can see that it sticks out a good amount. I am going to be switching lenses definitely to make a short little pancake. Um, I'm either probably going to do the 35 or something wider. Next thing up is the flash. This right here is just an easy umbrella mount that I bought on Amazon for a few bucks as well. Uh, it comes with a mounting uh, bracket on the bottom that I have screwed onto the plate itself, which I'll show you by putting it on. And so this goes right on top and you just see how it screws right in 
and it'll hold it right in place. As you can see, I've just put the flash on there as well. Um, it just easily slides right into the little grip area and then attaches and then you can cinch it down so that it doesn't go anywhere. And that's pretty much the setup. What I'll also have is an umbrella that I use as a soft diffuser, which I'll show you installed right now. The umbrella is pretty big. <laughs> you can get the umbrella really at any camera store. Um, you can get them online on Amazon as well. They're fairly cheap. Now the reason why I actually have it facing the opposite direction and it's uh, using it as a bounce flash. It, it is a shoot through umbrella. So it is going to be a little bit more softer and you are going to lose some light. But if you're using like a silver reflecting umbrella, you're just going to be shooting just a really harsh light onto uh, the people and they're not going to come out as good as you think they would. Now that it's all set up, we need to connect it all, turn it all on and then uh, just see how it works. So the tablet itself came with this right angle OTG cable which makes it so much more convenient, especially because it's a little bit of a tighter space. If you had a regular um, USB cable, it wouldn't have enough room to be able to connect into it. So what I actually do is I connect this to this four-way USB splitter, which has a cord that connects to the camera, and then I also have a cord that connects to the uh, printer. All right, and you can see that this is fully touchscreen. What I do is just turn on the program and it should come up in a second. Once the program has started you can just see uh, the easy customization. You have your settings, templates that you can do, uh, print settings, images, camera wizard. This is when you hook up your camera. Uh, it will automatically read it. This one says oh it's got your D7100. You can uh, set up the flash controls and everything like that. To make it get bigger all you got to do is hit that little corner screen and it'll be full screen just so that the clients won't be able to get out of that and mess with things and uh, ruin the camera stuff. All right, it is all set up and ready to go. All you gotta do is just have the clients touch the touch screen. It'll automatically start in live view, give you a five second countdown for the first photo so everybody gets ready. Take the photo. You can see how crisp it is. It gives you about three seconds to view each photo and a three second countdown after that. And this one's set to four photos. You can actually do however many photos you want. Uh, normally, three to four is really good. If you want to do just one big photo, you can do one. It's pretty versatile. And like I said, with the templates, you can change it however you want. Jeez. Look at that beautiful mug. After it's all done, then it's going to say processing. And then it's going to give you an option to print. You can actually, um, you have the print option right there. There's actually a few different ones. I took them all out, but you can do uh, sending it through text. You can do Facebook. You can do email, however you want. I only want them just to be able to print it because I don't have Wi-Fi capability just yet on this. But once it's done also, you can just hit done. And then it's back to the next one. That's the photo booth. It's pretty simple, easy to use, and not too expensive. I mean, most photo booths cost, what, maybe five, six thousand dollars to buy. This one cost me about five hundred dollars to build with uh, everything else that I had included. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will see you guys next time.